If you ever wonder if throwing a little bit of trash out your window makes a difference, it does. It really does. When you're in the countryside and you're on a long stretch of road and you decide, yeah, let me throw out that beer bottle or that bootlegger bottle or that wine bottle or that cigarette pack or that whatever. Just remember, somebody lives here and most likely somebody's going to crawl down in that ditch and pick that shit up behind you. That someone is me. My little collapsidated bridge. It's okay. I have three more on this creek. We never rebuilt that one. But I have contacted the state. I've wrote them three different emails. And finally, year before last, they come and brought rip rap rock along here. Because you can see how close it is to the road's edge. Excuse me. Grandma just made enchiladas, so <laughs> anyway so close to the edge and I was like y'all need to put a guardrail up along this little ditch or something needs to be built up the the road was literally deteriorating like all the way up to the shoulder and we had a car that crashed in here and that after the third email after that car crashed they did come and bring rock rip wrap rock I just got to get in here and get the trash out. This is how much I've picked up so far. It's literally a bag full. We have about a thousand acres of road front. It goes beyond that curve. Literally a thousand acres. I'm sorry. A thousand feet. It's like 989 or something. Have that much put road th front footage. I'm having a hard time talking. But, and we do both sides. I do. I say we. I'm the one that does it. I clean up both sides of the road. A thousand foot on both sides. Every so often, as soon as I start seeing it, and I'm seeing it. But this is what kills me. Let's see. Let's see the trash that really gets under my skin. You can kind of hear the drag strip, I'm sure. I bet it all sinks to the bottom because it's glass. So many of these. So many. And most of them are grape. So I know it's the same person going down our street drinking this bootlegger bowl boo-boo. Hope everybody else has a good day. I'm sorry if I brought you down. I'm not feeling in the best of moods. I feel like like Mr. Krabs. Oh well. <laughs> sorry. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. I'm getting ready to go take a little hop, skip, and jump into the woods and enjoy the rest of mine. Peace.